Now for the story of a brush with death that has changed the pathway of one man's life. One moment, the picture of health, the next, an apparently fit 21-year-old rugby player was lying in a hospital bed, wired to heart monitors and lucky to have survived after collapsing on the pitch. James Benstead from Derbyshire had an undiagnosed heart condition that could actually have killed him. He's now devoting his life, though, to a career in cardiac science and urging young people to check out any concerns they might have about their hearts. Our health correspondent Rob Sissons reports. Feels good being back. James misses playing rugby, his passion for years at the Melbourne Rugby Club in Derbyshire. Three years ago, his sporting career ended abruptly. It was supposed to be like any other Saturday, really. And one moment, I'm just going over to mate to try and talk tactics, and the next, I'm on the floor. I am in a recovery position. I have bodies surrounding me, stood over me. It was alarming. Um and haunting, obviously some people would say scary. Uh, it wasn't, you know, a typical injury that you can deal with, with, um, you know, your typical first aid bag and that side of things. James was unconscious for about two minutes. His mum got the call to rush to hospital. And there he was, all hooked up to monitors, pale, grey, just it doesn't happen to me. Well, why is this happening? Today, he's 24 and looked after at Leicester's Glenfield Hospital. James has a condition called arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy, often known as ARVC. This is a genetic condition affecting the heart muscle. Uh, it can potentially result in dangerous heart rhythm abnormalities, particularly during exercise. Well, James owes his life to the team here at the Glenfield Hospital. They fitted him with a defibrillator in his chest, which activated once two months afterwards. I was watching the Champions League with my mates at uni. Uh, we celebrated a bit too much when a goal went in and Liverpool were knocked out. I then collapsed and had a cardiac arrest. The defibrillator worked and actually shot me back and brought me back to life. James so easily could have died from what's called SAD, Sudden Arrhythmic Death Syndrome, triggered by an irregular heart rhythm, arrhythmia. It's where the heart is beating too fast or slow. It's important underlying conditions that put people at risk are diagnosed. James would like young people to get screened. I have had symptoms and the build-ups in my collapse, and as well as those who do get diagnosed with it, not to lose hope. Granted, your life may be different, but there is still a life you can lead. Now he's 24 and leading a new life. I'm trained to be a cardiac scientist, and it's something I definitely see myself going in a career path down. I'd very much like to get involved with the screening, and the testing and diagnosing of individuals with cardiac conditions like mine. It's a future shaped by that traumatic day on the pitch, a future James and his mum know he might so easily have been denied. Rob Sissons, BBC East Midlands Today, Derbyshire. A great outcome. Um, crowds are gathered at Nottingham Cathedral.